Hello again and welcome to the 47th season of Varsity Quiz. We've got the best and the brightest high school kids in Clark County and they're matching wits in this unique academic competition. During the regular season, there were 24 high school teams competing in four regular divisions and two ultra competitive divisions. In that one, 16 high school teams fought to earn a spot in the postseason here at Vegas PBS and four teams well, they are still on the road to the competitive division championship. This is the first semifinal match. Green Valley is facing Clark. So with just one loss, Green Valley got first place in the East Division. In the playoffs, the Gators defeated West Tech, won 65 to 85. Clark also finishing the season six and one. They ended up in second place in the East Division, but they beat the Meadows 210 to 115 to make it to the match tonight. The winner of tonight's game will go on to compete for the Varsity Quiz Championship against the winner of next week's game, uh, Palo Verde and Coronado. What do you say we meet our players? And we'll start with Green Valley. We have 11th grader. It's uh, Jonathan Young. Hi, Jonathan. Hello. Um, what, is, what video games do you like to play? Uh, I've been a really big fan of Resident Evil since I was a child. It's a uh, horror game. Yeah, it's... and you were playing it as a child then. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Well, good luck with that and good luck here. Here's 11th grader Wen May Bai. Hi, Wen May. Hi. Welcome back. What is the Chinese music ensemble? Um, it's the only Chinese music ensemble. It's uh, when we, a bunch of people who play traditional Chinese instruments get together and we play at various events and we play traditional Chinese music to try and spread Chinese culture. Wonderful. Well, keep up with that and good luck here tonight. Thank you. Here is Daniel Mallory, a senior. Hey, Daniel. Hi, how are you? I'm mostly sunny, but you knew that. Uh, well, you had a great role in the uh, Green Valley High School band. What was your role? Well, for marching band this year and last year, I got to be drum major, which was a whole lot of fun. How exciting is that? Pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, uh, good luck. Now, you don't get to be that anymore because you're a senior. But are you going to carry on with your instrument? Going to try. Awesome. Good luck. Here is Omar Qureshi, a senior. Hi, Omar. Hi there. You had a pretty good uh, score on your SAT. Uh, I, I guess so. Yeah, a 2,400. Uh, what were you also a state champion in? Uh, I was a state champion in uh, congressional debate and uh, extemporaneous speaking. Well, you do a fine job with that, and good luck here tonight. That's our team from Green Valley. Let's go ahead and meet the Clark team. And we start with Joseph Rios in the 11th grade. Hi, Joseph. Hello, Nate. Welcome back. What instrument do you play? I play the French horn. And how long have you been doing that? Uh, for about six years now. Awesome. Well, keep up the good work, and good luck here tonight. Here is 10th grader Noah Cahill. Hi, Noah. Hey, Nate. Welcome back. Uh, you won a, uh, you, you called into a national radio show. What was that all about? Um, so I got this guy's book, Mark Levin's book, Plunder and Deceit, and called in and talked about national economics and national security. Sure, why not? <laughs> Congratulations on Thanks. that and good luck here tonight, Noah. Here is 11th grader Lyle Carrera. Hey, Lyle. Hey, Nate. How are you? I am mostly signing, but you knew that. Welcome back. Uh, you, you do those Rubik's cubes? Sometimes. That's one of you're not don't do as much as you used to. Well, not as much as I used to, but hey, I'm still pretty fast. And there's a record for that, or you don't, don't compete for that anymore? Uh, no, we still do compete at the high school level. Um, I'm actually on the team for our high school, and have been uh, involved in that competition since my seventh grade year. Awesome. Good luck with that, and good luck here tonight. Thank you, Nate. Here is Ben Hand. Hi, Ben. So, dude. It is great to have <laughs> you here. Um, the viola, how long have you been playing that? I've been playing that for a little bit over two months now. I started in December of last year. So you're brand new. Yep. Are you I'm, having fun with it? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. And it's a great learning experience that will help uh, me build as a build me as a person. Absolutely. You know, they talk about music helps the academic side of things. So good luck with that. That's our team from Clark. You know, our varsity quiz coaches are the backbone of the program. They work with our students week after week, put in a lot of time outside the classroom to make varsity quiz the success that it is. Let's meet our coaches for Green Valley, Demetrius and Lisa Beam. For Clark, our coach is Chuck Bean. Our volunteer judges tonight are from the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. The Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas provides our judges and timekeepers at each and every match of our season. They also provide Varsity Quiz with scholarship money, and that includes the Harvey Dondero Award given to an outstanding student. We sure appreciate the Kiwanis Club's participation in Varsity Quiz, and we salute all of their work in the community. 
Our varsity quiz match consists of three rounds. Each question is worth five points. The first round has 25 toss-up questions. The second round, that's the bonus round, and it is timed. The team correctly answering the toss-up question will have the opportunity to then answer a two-part bonus question worth 10 points. The final round, that's the lightning round. It is also timed. All right, students, one more reminder. You get to use your playground voices here at Vegas PBS. We want you to speak into the microphones. They'll hear you just fine, but you need to speak up when you're answering so the judges on the other side of the studio can hear you. Everybody ready? Let's get started. Name the European playwright who wrote the play Hedda Gabler. And that is Green Valley, when may? Christopher Marlowe. No. Uh, Clark Lyle? Miller? No, it's Henrik Ibsen. Next question. Holding that all values are baseless and that nothing can be known or communicated. That's a definition of which philosophical... Clark Lyle? Solipism? No, an eight-letter word starting with the letter N is in Nancy. Green Valley Omar? Nihilism? Yes. The Greeks considered him the god of theatrical criticism. He was chiefly worshipped by the Arcadians, who were mountain people disdained and that'll be Green Valley when may. Apollo? No. Uh, disdained by, uh, that'll be Clark Joseph? Socrates? No. Name the satyr that Midas judged better than Apollo? It was Pan. Next question. With all mirrors, the angle of incidence equals the angle of what? Green Valley, Daniel. Reflection? Yes. Next question. A cross with a loop at the top served as the symbol of life for the Egyptians. What was this symbol? And that's Green Valley. Omar? Onk? Yes. Some have said that Apple Computer's old logo, an apple with a bite out of it with a rainbow of colors, is a tribute to British mathematician, computer pioneer, uh, Clark Lyle. Turing? Uh, that's incorrect. It was a tribute to the mathematician Turing who committed suicide by eating an apple he poisoned himself. Turing had helped win World War II by breaking the Nazis' supposedly unbreakable hidden code known appropriately by what name? Green Valley, when may? Enigma code? Yes. Donald Trump boycotted a recent Republican presidential debate after Fox News refused to remove Clark Noah. Megan Kelly. Yes. Name the river that rises in the Voldaya Hills, winds past Stalingrad, and flows into the Caspian. Green Valley, when may? Volga. Yes. The year 1846. 89 emigrants heading for California were trapped in the Sierras. Clark Joseph. Donner Party. Judges? Yes. Next question. Although this layer is not very thick, it has more molecules of air than all the Green Valley Omar. Troposphere? Yes. His piano concerto number one and violin concerto are among the most often performed such works in the orchestral repertoire. Green Valley Omar. Tchaikovsky? Yes. Here's a math question. The length of a rectangle is one centimeter less then twice the width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 76 centimeters, find the number of centimeters in each dimension of the rectangle. Repeating, length of the rectangle, uh, that'll be uh, Clark, Noah? 13 and 25. That's incorrect. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 76, find the number of centimeters in each dimension of the rectangle. It is uh, one centimeter less than twice the width on the length. Green Valley, Daniel? 13 centimeters and 25 centimeters? That's incorrect. First answer, the first answer we will call correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. The judges have said that the first answer was correct. I didn't have it correct on my answer sheet. So we move on to the next question. Name the King of England, the last planta Plantagenet royal whose remains were reburied in Leicester Cathedral recently. 500, Clark Noah. King Richard the second. Incorrect. Green Valley, when may? King Richard III. Yes. A Hanoverian of Jewish descent, he moved to England at 19 and devoted himself to music until he was in his mid-30s, when his interest in music led him to math and then astronomy. Clark Joseph. Pascal. No. What astronomer spotted Titania and Oberon in 1787, just six years after he discovered the planet they orbit, Uranus? Green Valley, Daniel. Haley. No, we were looking for William Herschel. Next question. It comes from the Latin for to kill. What 12 letter noun, starting with the letter A, means the paying off of a home loan over a long period of time? Uh, 
We're looking for amortization. Next question. Marie Antoinette was the sister of which Austrian emperor? Clark Lyle. Yeah, uh, Marie the first. No. We were looking for Joseph the second. Next question. In Massachusetts, when he was in his 20s, he began publishing an advocacy newspaper called North Star. Who was this sage of Green Valley, Wendy? William Lloyd Garrett. No. Sage of Anacostia, an ally in the struggle with people such as William Lloyd Garrison. Clark, Noah? Garrison? No. We were looking for Frederick Douglass. Next question. What term can descri describe functions such as cosine of x, for which f of negative x equals x? Green Valley Daniel? Even? Yes. The science and technology of building electronic circuits and devices from single atoms and molecules is designated by what 14-letter word beginning with N as in Nancy? Green Valley, Omar. Nanotechnology? Yes. The last name of what general and organizer of the Army of the Potomac completes this note? Uh, Clark Noah. McClellan. Yes. Math question. Identify the magnitude of the phase shift between the functions y equals sine x and y equals cosine x. Repeating. Uh, Clark Joseph. Pi over 2. Yes. Uh, what company's new project Phi will join forces? Clark Lyle. Google? Yes. It's believed that the continents as a single mass were once surrounded. Clark Lyle. Pangeo. No. By a single blank called Panthal Panthalassa. Green Valley, when may? Ocean. Yes. In sports, it can mean the impetus that one team gains when it performs better than the other team. In physics, Green Valley, Daniel. Momentum. Yes. Name one of two Missourians who were noted outlaws of the Wild West. These brothers, Clark Noah. Butch Cassidy. No, these brothers were known for robbing banks and trains throughout the West. Green Valley, Jonathan. Jesse James. No, we needed Frank and Jesse James. That's the end of our first round. Our score at the end of the first round, Green Valley was 65, Clark with 30. Now we did have a correct answer on the last question of the first round, so the uh, student from Green Valley does get credit for the question about the uh, noted outlaws of the Wild West. It named one of the brothers and he did, so they get credit for that one. We also have a couple of players we wanted to introduce to you. For uh, Green Valley, there's a new student. It's uh, Carson Taylor. Hey, Carson. Hello. Welcome back and good luck to you and to your team here in the second round. And a junior from Clark is also on the team right now, Antoinette Figueroa. Hi, Antoinette. Hi. Nice to have you here. Good luck to you and to the Clark team as we get ready for our bonus round. Starting now, the Oxford English Dictionary defines what two-word term as a method or procedure that has characterized natural science. Clark, Ben. Modus operandi. No, the, since the 17th century, consisting in systematic observation, measurement, Green Valley, Omar? Scientific method. Yes, uh, that's a correct answer. And bonus questions now for Green Valley only. Answer the following associated with the scientific method. First, name the author of the 1620 book, Novum Organum, that championed the inductive science method. Second, name the author of the 4th century BC treatise, The Organum, describing the deductive method. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> well, um, we can guess. Yeah, I have mm. nothing. In, in, Newton and Archimedes. 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 Pick one. Newton and Archimedes. Uh, no, we were looking for Sir Francis Bacon and Aristotle. No bonus points. We move on to this question for both teams. Name the nearest normal spiral galaxy. Uh, it's Clark Lyle. Andromeda. Yes. Bonus question for Clark only. Answer the following associated with astronomy. First, analysis of data from NASA's WMAP probe confirms that what is the shape of the universe? Second, which philosophical ology states that there is a purpose or final cause to the universe and that it influences the achieving of a goal? Spherical and causology. Uh, both are incorrect. We were looking for flat and teleology. No bonus points. Next question for both teams. Which American military leader and future president won the Battle of Tippecanoe? And that is Green Valley. Omar? Ulysses S. Grant? No. Uh, 
at Clark Noah. William Henry Harrison. Yes. Bonus questions now for Clark only. Answer the following associated with American wars. First, name the American military leader that served first as Indiana governor, then as Civil War major, then as territorial governor of New Mexico, all before he wrote Ben-Hur. Second, name the person that for his gallantry at the Battle of Little Round Top at Gettysburg was awarded the Medal of Honor and became Maine's governor after the war. Pickett's charge. General George Pickett. Okay. For the first Harrison, for the second Pickett? Both are incorrect. We were looking for Lou Wallace and Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain. Next question for both teams. Finish the following quote by the first witch in Macbeth. When shall we three meet again in thunder, lightning, or in blank? Clark Lyle. Rain. Yes. Bonus question for Clark only. Answer the following associated with Shakespearean quotations. First, Romeo said, Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand that I might touch that blank. And sonnet 18, Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more blank. Temperate. Temperate, are you sure? I think it's temperate. I, I think it's fair. I think it's temperate. Whenever you can. Uh, for the first, I might kiss. For the second, fair. Both are incorrect. We're looking for cheek and temperate. Uh, so no bonus points. We move on to this question for both teams, and it is a math question. If the sine of x is 8 over 17, and x is in the interval from pi over 2 to pi inclusive, and that'll be Clark, Noah? Negative 15 seventeenths. That is incorrect. Evaluate the tangent of x. Repeating. And that is Green Valley, Daniel? Negative 8 fifteenths. That is correct. Here's a bonus question now for Green Valley only. Answer the following math questions. First, what is the period of the graph of the function y equals 4 sine 2x? Second, determine the nature of the roots of the equation y equals negative 7x squared plus 9x minus 3 equals 0. Repeating, what's the period of the graph of the function y equals 4 sine 2x? And second, determine the nature of the roots of the equation y equals negative 7x squared plus 9x minus 3 equals 0. Pi for the first one? Yeah. And then for the second one? Mm -hmm. I have nature, so like real? Yeah. Is this yeah, real. real? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's real. Yeah, pretty sure it's real. Captain? Uh, pi and real? Uh, pi is correct. The other one was two complex conjugate roots, so you get some bonus points. Next question for both teams. What nation declared war on Japan just six days before Japan surrendered in World And that is Clark Ben. The Soviet Union? Judge? Yes. Uh, so here's a bonus question. It is for Clark only. Answer the following associated with history. First, historians generally agree that John Cabot first landed in the New World on what Canadian island? Second. In the Middle Ages, an emblem depicting two knights on a single horse belonged to what order founded in the 12th century to protect pilgrims in the Holy Land? Wait, is it Newfoundland or Labrador? Uh, I don't know, I want to say Newfoundland. For the, sec er, for the first, Newfoundland. For the second, the Knights Templar. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Now this for both teams. Which president signed a bill into law creating the federal holiday to honor Martin Luther King? A Green Valley Omar? Lyndon B. Johnson? No. Honor Martin Luther King, and that's Clark Lyle. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. No, it was Ronald Reagan. Next question for both teams. What city, according to Sophocles, was the setting for his works? Antigone, Clark Lyle. Thebes. Yes, bonus question now for Clark only. Answer the following associated with literature. First, literary critics uh, critiques use what Latin phrase, meaning God from the machine, when an unexpected event untangles a difficult situation? Second, Tolstoy's War and Peace. Partly an account of what battle outside Russia against Napoleon's forces? What? I don't know, Waterloo? I'm just no. going to say it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no reason not to, right? For the first, Deus Ex Machina. For the second, Waterloo. Uh, first part is correct. The second one was the Battle of Borodino. So some bonus points. And we're out of time in the second round. 
And our score is getting close. Green Valley keeps the lead with 80 points. Clark coming up now at 70. We're about to start our uh, speed run, but we have a couple of new players. Now, the Green Valley team is the same, but we have two new players for Clark we wanted to introduce you to. Uh, we'll start with ninth grader Evan Crosby. Hi, Evan. Hello. Glad to have you here. And also 11th grader Ezra Yosef. Hi, Ezra. Hi, Nate. Glad to have you here, but are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get started with our speed round. What novel by Henry James set in the 19th century describes the changes of Miles and Flora from innocent and sweet children into hypocrites and liars? And that is Green Valley, when may? Ulysses. No. Uh, Clark Evan? Dubliners. No, it is the turn of the screw. Next question. What eight letter word beginning with V as in Victor means characterized by forcefulness of expression or intensity? Green Valley, when may? Vehement. Yes. Complete the following opening line of the Merchant of Venice. In sooth, I know not why I am so blank. Clark Lyle. Poor. No. Green Valley Daniel. Sad. Yes. Brisk sales of tech stocks brought the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 to their highest levels this past year. What do the letters S and P stand for? Clark Lyle. Standard and poor. Yes. Aminoids, extinct relatives of squids, octopi, and chambered nautiluses belonged to what? Clark Lyle. Cephalopoda? No. What phylum? Green Valley, Omar. Cephalopods? No, we're looking for mollusk. Next question. The Habsburg palaces, such as Schönbrunn, were built in what city? Green Valley, Omar. Vienna? Yes. Name the literary form described as a short pastoral poem. Clark Lyle. Solemn. No. Did he get in in time? Okay, Green Valley Daniel. Epic. No, it is an idol. Next question. The Yellowstone River is a tributary of what larger river? Green Valley, when may? Snake River. No. Clark Lyle. Colorado. No, it's the Missouri. At what Kelvin temperature does the vapor pressure of water equal the sublimation uh, Green Valley, Daniel. 373. No, the sublimation pressure of ice is what we're looking for. Clark Lyle. 273. Yes. The vector quantity that represents the product of a body's rotational inertia and rotational velocity about a particular axis is called angular... Clark Lyle. Momentum. Yes. Name the large peninsula in the Sonoran Desert. Clark Ben. Baja, California. Yes. Name the North Sea prison in the Harry Potter series. Green Valley, when may? Azkaban. Yes. In a symbiotic relationship, what's the term for a plant or animal that preys on the host? Green Valley, Omar? Parasite. Yes. What kind of creatures have a metasoma or tail with six segments, the last of which the telson and its venom-injecting barb? Clark Lyle. Scorpion? Yes. What kind of flag tapers to a point at one end and is... And that is Green Valley, Daniel. Pennant? Yes. What is the railroad term for the distance between the parallel rails? Uh, Green Valley, Daniel. Gauge? Yes. What, who secured the royal charter to colonize the southernmost of Britain's colonies in North America? Green Valley, Daniel. Ogledorp? Yes. Also known as immersion foot, what condition resembling frostbite and especially prevalent among frontline soldiers in World War I? Uh, that is Green Valley Carson. Trenchfoot. Yes. Which character in Lord of the Rings is also known as Yarwin Benadar? Green Valley Omar. Gandalf. No. Clark Lyle. Eowyn. No, it was Tom Bombadil. Next question. In 1987, Ronald Reagan delivered a vital speech at the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. What memorable four-word imperative? Green Valley. I'll make that Clark Lyle. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Judges? The judges will accept that. Next question is a math question we do not repeat in the third round. Evaluate x squared minus 2x plus 2 for x equals 1. Clark, Lyle. Uh, three halves. No. Uh, for x equals 1 plus i. Green Valley, Daniel? Zero. Yes. In the novel The Da Vinci Code, a dead body's been found inside the Louvre. 
with body parts placed to look like what well-known Clark Evan? The Vitruvian Man? Yes. What term rhyming with event indicates the opposition to an established political order? Clark Ben. Descent? Yes. What sort of chemical reactions build macromolecules by combining many smaller units known as uh, Green Valley, Daniel? Polymer reactions? Judges? I didn't finish the question. Okay, so they say yes. Uh, next question, name the Emperor of Germany from 1871 to, and that is Clark Lyle. Otto von Bismarck? No, from 1871 to 1888 who appointed Otto von Bismarck Chancellor. <phone rings> Green Valley, Omar. Frederick II? No, we're looking for Wilhelm I. Discovery of gold in the Kansas Territory, now in this state, precipitated a gold rush. As California had its 49ers, which state had the 59ers? Clark, Ben. Utah? No. Green Valley, Daniel. Colorado? Yes. What is the weakest of the four forces in nature? Green Valley, Omar. Intermolecular forces? No. Clark, Lyle. Electromagnetic? No, we're looking for gravity. Name the only Central American nation adjacent to the Yucatan Peninsula and the Pacific. Green Valley, Daniel. Honduras? No. Uh, Clark Lyle? Please. No, we're looking for Guatemala. We're out of time. It was a battle, but we have a winner. Green Valley on top with 140 points over Clark. Congratulations to Green Valley and to Clark as well for a great match. We invite you to join us next Monday at 7.30 when Palo Verde will take on Coronado for the final seat in the championship round. We hope you'll join us then for another exciting night of Varsity Quiz on Vegas PBS. Good night.